Good morning friends. Today our lecture is going to be start the new unit thermodynamic. Uh, this is the somewhat lengthy topic you need to follow thoroughly for each and every lecture because of these concepts are very theoretical concepts. I hope this is the they are very bore. Anywho, we need to go to the in depth of uh, this topic. Please uh, follow the carefully each and every lecture. So, let me start without our wasting our valuable time. Topic name is thermo dynamics. So, let me take the definition of the thermodynamic. What does it mean by thermodynamic? So, thermodynamic means uh, uh, as if you take the definition of thermodynamic, it is the branch of physics which deals about the heat and uh, heat and other form of energy, conversion of heat to other form of energy. So, it is the branch of physics definition. If you take the definition, it is a branch of physics. <coughs> Sorry. It is a branch of physics which deals with <coughs> heat and uh, its other form of energy and its uh, other form of energies. So, that means, uh, the heat will have the other form of energy means, uh, it will have the uh, mechanical energy, chemical energy uh, like this other form of energy, it can have, it can transfer from one form to other form, uh, but basically that uh, thermodynamic will deal with uh, heat to the exchange of heat to mechanical energy it will lead to mechanical mechanical energy. So, if we go to the um, uh, as a straight forward definition, the branch of physics which deals about the uh, heat and uh, exchange of heat, uh, the conversion of heat to mechanical energy that physics is termed as the uh, uh, thermodynamic uh, thermodynamics. So, before entering into the thermodynamics, uh, we need to learn some specific definitions in the thermodynamics. Let me take the what does it mean by thermodynamic system? Thermodynamic system. What does it mean? Or we will name it as a we simply we will call it as a system. What does it mean by thermodynamic system means? Uh, a system is nothing but it is the definite quantity of matter, so which is bounded in a closed uh, in a some closed uh, surrounding or closed surface. So system is nothing but if it uh, definite quantity of matter, it is a definite quantity of matter. So bounded in. bounded in a closed surface. So, if you take one uh, take an example, let me take um, uh, <coughs> uh, let, uh, let me take a water is filled in a water bottle, then we will call it as the water which is having inside a water bottle, that water we will call it as a system because of um, it is a matter as per the definition a matter is bounded in a closed surface. So, that means here is the matter is the water, water is the matter. So, it is a bounded in a closed surface means it is enclosed in a surface of water bottle. So, that means um, this is like a system. Let me take one more example, generally we will take the gas, uh, um, uh, gas uh, which we delivered from the gas agency, that gas is also which is a gas inside the cylinder also like we can call it as a system because of uh, that gas is enclosed in surrounding in a closed surrounding. 
closed surface that means uh, that is the metal cylinder is the surface of the boundary of that system then uh, we will that gas which is enclosed in that cylinder you will call it as a system which have it is a definite matter uh, that way quantity of matter is there it is a particular surrounding boundaries are there that is why we will call it as a system. So, a system can have the uh, it can have the any uh, any state that means it can have the solids uh, and liquid and uh, gas. So, any type of matter uh, state of the system can have any state. So, it can have the solid system we can take, uh, liquid system we can take, gases system also we can take. But um, generally basically uh, in our uh, content we will deal with uh, the system in the only gases state of the system. That is why we will call it, uh, we will generally we will uh, follow the system as the gases system in our particular uh, aspects in our running topic we will deal only with the gases state of the system. Now, uh, now, <coughs> now the thermodynamic system have different different uh, types of system. So, types of system we need to know types of systems. So, uh, as per the name of the system, a system is nothing but it is uh, having the perfect boundary, um, uh, uh, it will have the some matter which is enclosed in a boundary that uh, that is named as the system. As per the definition of the system, there are uh, there are uh, different type of system. Let me take the first definition of the system, uh, first uh, type of the system is the open system. So, before giving uh, taking the definition of the system, we need to know the surrounding, after that we will come to the system. Let me take here, what does it mean by surrounding? Surrounding, see the surrounding is nothing but uh, everything other than the system. So, which can uh, which can have the direct influence, uh, uh, direct influence on the system that is named as the surrounding. So, everything other than the system, other than the system and which can, which can have direct effect on the system, on the system is named as the surrounding. Uh, let me take our previous example. We assume that uh, the water uh, which is inside the bottle that is named as a system. Now, the room uh, environment, the room, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the bottle which is surrounded in a room. So, the gas which is uh, and which is uh, surrounded with the uh, water bottle that is named as the surrounding of that system. Now, let me take uh, the gas which is filled inside the cylinder that is we will assume that the system that uh, if a cylinder is coming. Uh, in a in a journey that means uh, the cylinder is coming through a vehicle so the atmosphere environment which is uh, surrounded to the cylinder that is named as the surrounding that means uh, other than the system which can have the direct influence on the system so which can have the direct effect on the system that is named as the surrounding that is the uh, basically we need to understand first one is the system second one is the surrounding now, come to the types of the systems. Now, what does it mean by open system? So, open system is nothing but a system which can have the possibility to exchange the matter as well as the energy to the surrounding that a system is named as open system. So, so this system have the possibility to exchange, exchange how many, what are the parameters it can exchange? it can have the exchange of mass that means or matter matter as well as the energy these are two parameters so these physical two quantities can exchange uh, <coughs> uh, if the system can exchange uh, uh, both as well as the mass as well as the energy uh, from system to surrounding as well as the surrounding to system that is named as the open system let me take one small example if the cylinder let me take it is a cylinder the cylinder is having some gas these uh, uh, this cylinder does not having any piston 
this does not have any piston is does not having any piston so if this gas can have the possibility to this gas can go to the atmosphere and atmosphere gas can also come to the inside of the cylinder that means uh, the matter is going out as well as the matter is coming from the surrounding to system as well as you can easily say that uh, <coughs> you can easily say that uh, uh, the energy of the system let me take here is the energy of the system is uh, uh, the energy when the matter is going out the energy also can possibility it can go the energy can go outside of the system the outside energy also can enter into the inside uh, enter into the system both can it can have the possibility to go outside of the system as well as the it can come uh, enter into the system that is the uh, open system what is the basic definition the open system is nothing but if the system can have the possibility to exchange the mass as well as the energy to its surroundings from to its surrounding as well as the surrounding to system that system is named as the open system now let me go to the another system closed system second one is the closed system <laughs> sorry closed system see this system see if the system is have a possibility to exchange only the energy than the matter that system is named as the closed system let me take uh, if the system is like a cylinder the cylinder is uh, the walls of the cylinder is made up of the iron so the cylinder is having the piston it will containing the piston it is the piston piston of the cylinder what does it mean the piston a piston is nothing but which can have the possibility only it can it can hold the matter it does not allow the uh, it can it does not allow the matter through its uh, that piston but it can have the possibility it can move freely through on the walls of the container so that means uh, a piston can do the work on the system as well as the it can have the possibility to expand that means it can do the it can have the possibility the work can done by the gas to the surrounding we will come to the clear picture of after uh, uh, coming lectures now it can hold the gas it cannot uh, uh, diffuse the gas from the cylinder or some from the uh, from the system boundaries now what is the having here inside the gas is there it is having containing the gas now closed system means uh, if the system have the possibility it can exchange only the energy so that means it is the possibility to exchange only energy energy is denoted with e so from its surrounding as well as the surrounding to system it does not have the possibility to exchange the matter so it does not have the possibility of the matter that system is uh, call it as a closed system closed system means to exchange the energy from the system to surrounding the walls of the system the boundaries or walls of the system must be have the di diathermic walls diathermic walls means it is the properties of the walls which can have which can have the property they can allow the energy from the surrounding to system they can allow the energy only they won't allow the matter so the properties of the matter and the properties of the walls of the system is diathermic walls diathermic walls so what does that mean by closed system a closed system is nothing but the system which can have the property of which can uh, which can have the property of exchanging the energy only from the system to surrounding they don't have the property of exchange of matter from the system to surrounding as well as the surrounding to system that is named as the closed system now let me go to the isolated system third one is the iso related system what does it mean by isolated system means uh, a system which can not have the exchange of uh, property of uh, which cannot have the possibility of exchange of energy as well as the matter that means a system neither exchange the matter 
not exchange the energy that system is named as the isolated system it neither exchange of matter nor exchange of energy that system is named as the that system is named as the isolated system that means uh, i already told you see it is the one cylinder the piston can have the possibility so it is the adiabatic wall this one this uh, piston have the adiabatic wall adiabatic wall means um, the it is the uh, the property of the adiabatic wall means uh, they won't allow the heat energy through it uh, the propagation of heat energy through it they won't allow see the the walls of the container they will prepare with adiabatic walls so here is the the property of the walls are adiabatic walls adiabatic walls so let me come to the one more thing so they have the properties have the adiabatic adiabatic so adiabatic walls adiabatic walls means they won't allow the heat energy through it the walls are do not exchange the matter that system is named as the isolated system now let me go to the homogeneous system the fourth one is the homogeneous system <coughs> homo genius system let me take the homogeneous system what does it mean by homogeneous system <coughs> see homogeneous system means uh, if the uh, the system inside the system the system contains uh, physical uniformity as well as the chemical uniformity then only the system is named as the homogeneous system so it will it will have the two types of properties first one is the physical uniformity physical uniformity as well as the a system contains the chemical uniformity chemical uniformity what does that mean by physical uniformity that means uh, if you take the system the system everywhere the system state must be same that means uh, if you take one part of the system is a solid throughout the everywhere in the system the system must be having the same solid property solid state only if you take the gas uh, the throughout the system the same system contains the same property of gas only then that is named as the physical uniformity of the system now take the chemical uh, chemical uniformity of the system what does that mean by chemical uh, uh, chemical uniformity of the system what does it mean by chemical uniformity system means uh, if the system contains uh, same chemical composition throughout the system that means uh, same chemical composition chemical composition that means so that system is named as the physical as uh, a chemical uniformity of the system what does it mean same state sorry same state that in this one chemi same chemical composition then that system is named as the homogeneous system let me go to the one, one more time a system is having the homogeneous system when we call it the homogeneous system it will have the two types of properties point number 1 it will have the physical uniformity what does it mean throughout the system the system possesses same state chemical uniformity means the system must have the same chemical composition that means if you take here is the nitrogen gas is there here if you go to here also nitrogen gas must be available here also nitrogen gas must be available here also nitrogen gas same chemical composition that means uh, if you go to the h2o vapor in the system in the in a system he will go to the here also h2o vapor we need to get that means the same chemical composition same state same chemical composition then the system is named as the homogeneous system generally in our thermodynamics we will feel that uh, the system is a homogeneous system only we will we will not discuss the non homogeneous system in the thermodynamic uh, um, lecture so that means in the present unit we feel that the system is the homogeneous system now we will stop here tomorrow we will continue so let me stop here thank you